Shalom, I'm John Carney Roth. I'm Anthony Hill. And this is Through the Eyes of an Elder's Discussions, and we're happy that you could join us here today. And we basically kind of try to dive into different kinds of scriptures um, and try to extract things from there to help us in our walk in our faith with Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes. And we're praying and hoping that it blesses you as well. Um, sometimes things are not quite as evident as when you read the scriptures on the surface. So it's our goal and our desire and our passion to try to bring the deeper meaning of this out, especially in these times, Anthony, because in these times, Satan is becoming quite crafty. And there, there's something interesting. Uh, we're going to start with the opening comments now. I'll just start real quick. Um, what I'm noticing is, is that there's kind of like two groups of people that I see as far as in the faith. Uh -huh. And the one is the ones that are on fire are keen to Satan's devices. And they have been kind of trained at how tricky and crafty he can really be. And so their senses have been fine-tuned to be able to pick up when things are happening to them to know how to counteract that and rely on Yahshua to step in and help them instead of allowing their flesh to come out. And then you have the other group of people who are walking in Yahshua, but they're doing it in a very kind of lackadaisical, casual kind of way. Yes. And when trouble comes, they run, you know? <laughs> and when they run, unfortunately, if you don't stand and face the enemy and conquer him on your ground, he takes the ground away from you. And so the whole point of this is uh, this message today, this discussions today, is trying to understand how Satan sets us up for failure so that we can be prepared because we're not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. That's the title of today's topic that you chose. Yes. And he has lots of tools in which he does that. And so I know it's your desire as well as mine today to bring out some scriptures that will shed a little more light on this and bring out maybe a deeper meaning. And then hopefully you can use this to reflect in your own life Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling you people out there, things are getting harder. And I know people out there know it's getting harder. Oh, yes. It's getting more difficult. And the devil is getting more crafty on how he's coming at us. So it behooves all of us to be on guard. Or these days are going to catch you, like Yahshua says, as a thief in the night. Yes. And do you really want to find yourself in that place? Do you really, you know, I say to myself, I've been doing this for almost 40 years now. The last thing I can think of that would be the most humiliating thing for me is to fight all these battles I've fought in over all these years, these spiritual wars to this point, And then at the last minute, you throw it away. Oh, yes. That would be so humiliating because, you know, from a carnal perspective, I there's many other things I could have done in my life. Beside follow this way, I could have had more fun in the world and just stay in my ignorance. But, you know, it is our hope that as we're going to bring out in the scriptures is that you people are the bride to be. Many of you are the bride to be. And it's time to start waking up and understanding that you can't take this lightly anymore and that the devil is on a war path. And he wants to destroy all of Yahweh's chosen. That's you. And it's important that you understand that and you integrate that into your daily life and not take it for granted as if like it, well, it, maybe it means it for somebody else. Everything is going good for me. Well, maybe it is going good for you now, but it's going to start turning pretty soon. Because mm -hmm. the devil's angry and he's coming down to Yahweh's people and he wants to put an end to this whole thing. We're coming into these end times. And so uh, that's kind of what I want to do to kind of set up today's message from my perspective of what I was thinking about, not being ignorant of his devices. So I kind of want to turn it over to you now and get your thoughts on this. Uh, praise Yahweh through Yeshua. HaMashiach, as always, it's a blessing to have the discussion. I won't... I won't um, prolong this little statement, but I just want to speak on an experience that I'm experiencing, um, how that Yahweh, through these discussions that we're having, has uh, opened a window for me to look out of. 
And as I look through that out of that window, I can see me outside of the window, all entangled in the different snares that this life can bring on you. And what he's revealed to me is, uh, we read it every week, you know, in our prayers. Uh, even the Siddur that we read has these prayers, and they always talk about how merciful Yahweh is. And I'm looking back through these different discussions that we've been having, including this one that we're going to have today, is he just shows me just how merciful he was to me, you know, and how his long suffering and his loving kindness towards those that call upon him is always there. And for me, it it's waking me up to kind of keep me, I, I pray daily for humility. And these scriptures are really humbling because I just see how good he has been for me, to me, and how merciful he's been to me. And I'm praying, this is my hope, that so many more people just can see the goodness of Yahweh manifested itself in his life while they were yet sinners. And so I'm ready to get this thing rolling and get it on the ball. So, sir, it's back over to you. Okay. So, you know, as I'm listening to you, um, something struck me just real quick. After we go through these scriptures today, mm -hmm. if these scriptures, as we bring them out, as we usually do, uh, don't alarm you and don't make you become reflective or inflective within yourself to see where you fit in all this and it doesn't scare the living daylights out of you, you're in a whole lot of trouble. Yes. You're in a whole lot of trouble because what that tells me is you are well on your way to your conscience being seared with a hot iron mm -hmm. to where you can't feel anymore. And that's an extremely dangerous place to be especially during these days that we're coming into now oh, when yeah. everybody's being forced to submit their free will and their rights over to the legal authorities and give up their sovereignty. And this is just like I said a year ago in the, one of the other videos, this is where it was going to go and this is where we are now. Only it's a whole lot deeper now than it was then. Mm -hmm. And another year from now, it's going to be a whole lot worse than this. Yeah. So at some point, you got to wake up and start realizing I can't play this game anymore. I've got to get right. I've got to get serious. Because we know from the scriptures that Yahweh at some point is going to have the woman wake up. Mm -hmm. And she's going to have to start repenting and getting rid of her other lovers. So anyway, without any further ado, we've gotten through our opening comments. So as we I said earlier, are you ignorant of Satan's devices? That is the question. Are you ignorant? And this is only just a small... Um, a small way to look at this. There's just so many different ways uh, that Satan can get to us in our life. And you're not going to win them all initially. But right. like you said, there's grace. And Yahweh has mercy and compassion. And he can deliver you out of the ones that you're not so smart about. But the whole point is, hopefully, you learn through that. So that the next time he comes around, he tries to play the, the same game, you're on to it. Exactly. You know, you're on to it. Yes. You know? Yes. So... You picked on, we're going to go through three points here today. And on point number one, you came up with Genesis chapter 38, verse 24 through 36. Mm -hmm. Genesis 38, 24 for, through 26. And what I got out of this is transference of authority lets you reap what you sow. Yes. So in other words, don't complain about what you allow. Mm -hmm. You and you alone have to own up to what you gave up. Mm -hmm. So when calamity comes on you, you have no one to blame but yourself. So hopefully you'll see the same thing that we see out of this. And so I'll go ahead and read this and then I'm going to throw it over to you and get your thoughts on how you want to um, talk about what you saw in these scriptures. It says in 